Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac. Well, I thought I'd do you a quick update video of what I've been doing over the past week and give you some hints about what to expect on my channel over the next few weeks and months. Well, this week I have been at my mum's house making a lot of vacuum cleaner videos, so there's plenty to look forward to. And I've also been getting out a few of my older vacuum cleaners, some of my collection, and having a bit of a play with them. Well, no, I haven't been playing with them, really. Be making videos. I don't play with them. I'm, I'm not a child. Um, anyway, no, I've, I've, as you can see, I'm surrounded by several vacuum cleaners. Now, some of my vacuum cleaners are stored here and some are stored at my home. And I've had a few requests asking me, can you show all your collection all together? Well, sorry, I can't because of the fact they, they're not all together at the moment. One day that might change. One day I might be able to have them all together. But at the moment, they're in different houses. So I thought I'd get out some of the vacuum cleaners that I keep here. This isn't by any means all of them. Some of them are still stored away. These are the ones that I got out just to have a look at and to make some more videos. So I'll show you these. I'll be going around the room and showing you all these vacuum cleaners. I've also got a few new videos coming up, as well as all the videos that I mentioned, all the vacuums that I mentioned in the video, coming soon video, which was uploaded a few weeks ago. If you just check back on the channel, you'll see what's coming up. It's got a picture of me like that, holding a Henry. Anyway, I've done the test on the Henry and I'm very impressed with the new Henrys, so that's coming up. So anything that you've seen on the coming up video, that will be on my channel over the next few weeks and months. But there's also more to look forward to as well. I'm doing what, what I'm calling my classic collection, which is basically getting out some of the vacuums that are featured on my channel a few years ago, but doing new updated videos in high definition. So some of the vacuums included in that series will be my Vortex, my Turbo Power 2, my Turbo Power, my Hoover Microspace. Uh, there's a few others that um, will be under the banner of Classic Collection. I'm also getting, or also have got, a few more vintage vacuums, much older than the vacuums I normally collect. I've just bought a new Hoover Junior U1036. And I've also got a Hooverette stick vacuum cleaner. And um, I expect to get a few more older cleaners, sort of from the 70s, I think, um, to include on my channel. So they'll be coming up as well. I've done the unboxing for the Hooverette and the Junior, but they're very, very dirty. They need a good clean up. But then once I've refurbished them, I will do full demonstration videos, which will be added on my channel. So before I take you around, let me just check my notes, because I'm an old man and I forget things. Uh, I've, oh, I've said everything. I've said everything. Now, you might recognise this jumper. Well, you won't actually. I've never worn it. In fact, I was given this jumper. It's still a little bit big, but I was given this jumper when I was quite young. I used to bother Hoover with letters. I, probably every week I used to write Hoover a letter. This was long before the internet and email, so I used to write Hoover letters and, and give them my reviews on vacuums. You know, I used to write them and draw pictures and ask them various questions. Anyway, they must have got so fed up of me asking them things that they sent me this jumper. And when they sent me this jumper, it was far, far too big for me. It's still a little bit baggy for me now, but it, it just about fits. Anyway, any of you eagle-eyed viewers out there might notice, I'm not sure if you can see, I might have to shuffle along. There you go. That says Ibasiac. And obviously Ibasiac is the name of my channel. And for all of you who don't know, if you're a fan of vacuums, you should know what Ibasiac means. Do you know Noah? Hello Noah Barden. Hey, you're there aren't you watching? Your mummy says you like vacuum cleaners as well. I don't know if you've got any vacuum cleaners of your own. I hope you've got some, maybe some toy ones, but as you get bigger and you can earn some pocket money, you might be able to get some more vacuums. So hello Noah. Now then, now I've said hello to Noah, what was I saying? I've forgotten Noah. I've forgotten what I was saying. Um, 
Oh yes, talking about the jumper. Oh, an Ibasiac, yes. So any of you who don't know what Ibasiac means, leave immediately. You should know if you're a fan. Anyway, it's a slogan that was used by the Hoover Company and it related just to their upright vacuum cleaners. So Ibasiac stands for it beats as it sweeps as it cleans. Well, looking round, yes, none of these vacuum cleaners have beats as it sweeps as it cleans action, but two of the vacuums I have at home, now I've got three at home, do actually have that beats as it sweeps as it cleans action. So it was an old advertising slogan Hoover used. And if you look back on my channel, you'll see some old Hoover adverts and they, a lot of them feature it beats as it sweeps as it cleans. Okay, I think uh, I've told you enough. Just going to take the camera now, just show you, the, show you what I've got here at the moment. But like I say, this is not all of them. I do have more, but at least I can show you a few things that I have behind me. Now, this is the very latest vacuum cleaner that I bought. I only got this a few days ago. This was an absolute bargain from eBay. It's a Diversi Ensign SM2 Upright. Now Diversi is a cleaning company in the UK, but the machines are actually made by SIBO. So basically, this is a SIBO Upright. Brand new, I got it for £39. So I'm really pleased. Basically, what this is, is the big brother to my SIBO Professional G1 that's featured on my channel. So this would be called a SIBO G2, I believe. And it's more or less the same, apart from the fact, oops, apart from the fact it has this wide cleaning path. So it has an extra wide cleaning path. But it also has what I do like, no, I've shown you the, oh, there it is, yes. It's got manual height control, there's a dial there. So it doesn't have the auto height control of the automatic X series, etc. But I've used it briefly and it's very, very good. You'll be seeing the unboxing and demo of that at some point. Here's a machine that's featured in the past. It's a turbo power, very basic turbo power. This, I got this brand new a few years back again from eBay. It's a little bit dusty because I've been throwing a lot of dust around and muck in this room to do various demonstrations. This featured on the channel a couple of years ago or so, but I didn't do any proper demonstrations with it. I've rectified that. You will see this turbo power picking up a lot of dirt. And I also demonstrate the cleaning tools that I bought recently. You'll see the unboxing of the cleaning tools on the channel. Um, oh, well, I'll just move this because it's in my way. You've seen this. Um, not sure, I haven't made another video of this one yet. There's an unboxing, covered in dust, Hoover Telios Pets 1700 watt vacuum made in the UK. So I've just got this out, but I haven't done a video for this, so I probably won't be. But I do have another Telios that's at home. I will be doing an updated video of that. It's the Lagoon green metallic Telios. So I will be doing a proper demo with that, but probably not this, but this is more or less the same, apart from it does have a turbo head. I'll just pop that there out of the way. Behind, very, very common this, it's not, not very interesting. Whoops. Uh, and it has the old chassis problem, it won't stand upright. It's got a new chassis, but it still didn't cure it. This is, um, of course, pure power. What makes this a little bit different is the fact that we've got the illuminated bag check indicator that's been done away with on current models and we've also got electronic speed control. I would have loved an AutoSense Pure Power, one of the earlier ones. I never bought one when they were in the shops. They were quite expensive. But uh, this is, it's either made in Cambuslang, Scotland or Lisbon, Portugal. I think it's made in Scotland, that one. I haven't done actually a video of that yet. I might not be able to do it this time, but that will come up. Also, well, I will be doing videos for these. You have seen the video of 
the Hetty desk vacuum. I might do the Henry, it's much the same of course, apart from it's a Henry and not a Hetty, but I might do one of those because the Hetty one has been very popular. Anything, anything that's Henry or Hetty seems to be very popular with people, they like to see videos featuring those little vacuums. I might do a quick quick video, everything's so dusty. <laughs> I might do a quick video of these Henry and Hetty wind-ups. They're quite fun little toys. You just wind them up and they move about and they go in different directions. So that would be just a quick video possibly. Then I've got slightly bigger Henry here, made by Kasdan. I'll be doing a video of that. I do also have the Hetty version. Basically again it's just the same but pink and with Hetty on it, so that will be coming up for my younger viewers who like to see toy vacuums demonstrated. This is my Maytag wind tunnel. It's featured a few times on my channel. Um, I may not do an updated video of this just yet. I certainly haven't had time to do it um, on this, this visit, but uh, it's a very good vacuum. Very powerful, very good agitation, but I think the video is uh, is good enough. But I might do one of my epic demos with that, but it won't be for a while. Just move that out of the way, give me some space. Now this lovely, lovely Hoover Turbo Power 2 has had an updated video made for it. I think the first video I made, it was basically a tour of the machine and I switched it on but I didn't really test it with any large amounts of dirt. So this particular vacuum has had the bag of filth treatment. I've thrown all the filth down and passed the turbo power back and forth through the middle and you will see the results of that, see if it's any good. We'll have to wait for the video to find out. This again featured, I don't think I really demonstrated it. This has had a full demo. I've tested this on carpets, I've tested it on hard floors, I've even gone up the stairs with it wearing the carry strap. It comes with a carry strap so you can wear it on your shoulder. This is a Hoover micro space. No longer available. This is made in the EC, so I'm not sure if this was UK or Portugal. I haven't got the box to hand, it might say on the box, and anyway, it's certainly not made in China. And I was quite surprised, it's surprisingly heavy, it's very small, but it's surprisingly heavy for such a small vacuum, 1300 watts. So that will be coming up, that's part of my classic collection. Another vacuum, let me just move that out of the way, I'll talk about that in a minute. Another one of my favourites. Again, this, this Vortex, I've had this from brand new. This one has been put through the mill as well. I've done full testing on this. I've uh, carpets, hard floors, I think I've demonstrated. Yes, I've been up the stairs with it as well, demonstrated the stair hose. So this has had a new updated review in high definition. So that's another one that I'm putting under my classic collection series. Let's move that out of the way. Now, one that isn't a classic, one that's very, very new. You've not even seen the unboxing for this, but I have done the unboxing. But uh, over the last couple of days, I've done a full comprehensive review and demo of the Shark Rocket. And I must say, it's pretty impressive. It's a handheld vacuum, mains operated handheld vacuum. So you can use it, it's styled obviously a bit similar to a Dyson, but it's a bit bigger and heavier, but it's a lot, lot more powerful than a Dyson cordless. And we have this power head, which is very, very good. So I've tested that on carpets, floors, um, upholstery, up high, down low. So that's got a full comprehensive review coming up as well. Another new vacuum which surprisingly impressed me. In some ways it's quite plasticky. This is a Hoover Blaze bagless upright, sort of a budget priced vacuum this one. I've done the unboxing, I've done the full review, that will be coming up. 
and it's actually an A-rated energy, so it's one of the new newer machines, but it also gets an A rating for carpets, a B for hard floors, and I must say it does perform very, very well on carpets. It's a little bit noisy, a little bit plasticky, but for a cheap, lightweight vacuum, that's pretty impressive. Moving along a little bit, we've got this. This made a brief appearance in the, the little video I did saying hello to vacuum fan Cole when I was uh, <laughs> being a big child and coming out of my fort made of vacuum cleaner boxes. So this uh, featured, I will be doing a demo and review, sort of, on this Hoover Pure Power. Quite a nice little toy. It's made by a German company called Theo Klein although it's not manufactured in Germany, that would be nice, a German made Hoover Pure Power no, it's actually made in China but it does work and it is a very accurate little model of a Hoover Pure Power although it's a bit different in the fact obviously there's no agitator, there's just a little slot there where it sucks in these little polystyrene pellets and, well there's the on-off switch, the on-off switch is in the same place as the real vacuum but all the dirt collects, well, the pellets, if I can remember how to do it. Does that come off? It does come off. Oops. There we go. All the polystyrene pellets collect in this container, I think, somehow. Oh, that's right, you empty it here. So, I'll be doing a full comprehensive demo. I won't be throwing down my bag of filth for this because there's no way it will pick anything up apart from, I think, the polystyrene pellets. But it's a fun little, well I'm not call, I don't call it a toy because I'm too old for toys. This is a working model, a scale model, that's what I call that. But it is very, very well done, you know. Very accurate. Batteries go in the back there. I also have this in red as well. They even got the proper Hoover logo and appointment to Her Majesty the Queen on. So that's a lovely little toy. I've just got this here. You've actually not seen this. It did make a brief appearance in one video. I've not even shown you the unboxing. I've had this quite a while. The unboxing will be coming up. Oh, actually, you've seen this in the coming soon video. I haven't actually done the test. I haven't had time. So a full review will be coming up as well as the unboxing of this Dyson DC35. Now, this one, two videos, the unboxing and a sort of brief look I haven't actually used this lovely Electrolux and to be honest I can't bring myself to put any dirt in this one. So I'm going to show you it again but it look at that it's a lovely well made classic Electrolux 2020 Super Boost. So um, I'm sorry I'm not putting any dirt in that one. But there it is. And Another new vacuum I got this week because I'm trying to build up my Electrolux collection because I was, you know, I was just a Hoover fan, you see. This one is, unfortunately, it's very, very old this, but it is new. The sticker on here is a little bit uh, creased. This is a wet and dry cleaner from Electrolux called the Aqualux. Now I've not even turned this on because it's so old that I need to fit a plug. There's no plug on this one, so I've not tried it out. But this one was made in Italy, and I think it was made by the same company that make the Vortice Bello Silent. You'll have seen that if you've seen the Coming Soon video. I've uh, shown you that little tub vacuum cleaner. And the unboxing for that's coming up as well. So, because when I looked at this, the tools are very similar, I'm assuming it is actually made by the same company. While we're on Electrolux, another little scale model, doesn't really work, is this Electrolux 550. It's made by Kasdan, this one. It doesn't, it doesn't actually pick anything up. It just sort of makes a noise. Oh, doing a quick unboxing, look. Very quick. I haven't seen this for ages. It's very poor. Well, I'm not. The quality is terrible. Anyway, I won't take it all to bits. 
the underside, that's it. That cardboard is just packaging, but it just makes a clicking noise as you push it along. And it's based on an Electrolux, well, say 550. Hello, that opens. And of course you have to put the handle on. It's, uh, it's got protection on it at the moment, so I might give you a little show of that. I might just do one video just with toy vacuums, I expect. And another toy that's just out of camera shots. I'm not going to bother opening this at the moment. I've got another one like this, a different colour. This is a, a model of a Dyson DC-14. Again, this is by Casden. I will probably do full demos of these as well. They can be my sort of shorter videos that I like to upload on a Monday now. I'll still be uploading sort of big epic demo videos on a Friday. Right, it's time to move the camera around and I'll just show you the rest of these vacuums. We're on the last leg now of this little brief tour. Just move those to one side. I'm showing you, show you those in a minute. A couple of uh, free motion based cleaners. This made an appearance in the coming soon video. So there's the unboxing to come for the Hoover Silent Energy. This has had a full demo. I've done that this week. One of the epic Friday demos. Lots of dirt put down. Tested on carpets and hard floors. Very, very good vacuum. Very stylish. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a very, very good vacuum cleaner that. Has some faults, but all in all I'd recommend that. Um, but look out for the unboxing and demo. And this machine featured, this, whoops, this one I'm putting in the classic collection. Obviously, same styling as the Silent Energy, but has a few more flaws, notably the poor hose that comes with it. But I've done a full demonstration of this as well. I've even tested the full-size turbo nozzle and compared it with the, the nozzle you get supplied, the front and side clean nozzle. So that one is another one of the epic demos that will be coming up. Another Dyson. Again, this one's appeared in the coming soon video. Now, hopefully, before I go home, I'll have made the demo video for that. That's the next one on the list. So I want to do a full demo. I've made the unboxing, obviously, because it's unboxed. But I'm going to be testing this on a wide variety of dirt and surfaces. That's a DC-28C. Well, we're on Dyson. One eagle-eyed viewer mentioned these. They were lined up outside my little fort. Now, I've not assembled these, and I don't think I ever will. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure about these. I think they were like promotional models that um, either Dyson gave away. I'm not sure, but they appeared on eBay. I don't know if you search eBay now, you might be able to get them. I don't know but uh, just search for Dyson scale model. They did more than these two. This is a scale model of a DC-26 cylinder. And if I turn the box around, you can see all the parts. It says on the box, DC-26 is half the size of other Dyson cylinders and it weighs just 3.5 kilograms. Yet every angle and dimension of the cyclone system has been recalculated making it work as efficiently as a big one. I'll just show you the kit, because it needs assembly, it's like an old Airfix model. Any of you, I never had them, I, I never liked things like that, but some of you who are old enough as a child might have had Airfix planes and tanks that you had to glue together and then paint. Well here's the assembly instructions. Oh it's all sealed up, look. So I don't think I'll be assembling that. Oh, there is a little bit of colour. Yeah, there's the top of the cyclone in blue, look. So that's one of the little models I've got. But as I say, I know they did more than these two. I can't remember the others. I expect some of you out there have pro probably got more. This one is the Ball DC-25. And again, that's all the parts. 
I wonder if the ball is orange in this uh, or yellow in this model. A bit of blurb on on the box as well. Conventional uprights sit on four fixed wheels. Because they're not designed to steer around corners, you have to push back and forth, back and forth. Dyson ball vacuums ride on a ball. To change direction, you simply move your wrist. The ball also houses the motor, lowering the machine's centre of gravity, making steering even easier. Let's have a look at the bits. It's ages since I've looked at these myself, actually, because they've been stored here. A lot of things I forget I have, you know. Again, there's instructions. Oh, there you can see somebody's using it. They don't actually work, they don't do anything. Just little models. Well, it's a funny, well, on camera they, look, they do look quite yellow, but in real life they're quite a dirty yellow. If I'm looking at that yellow and looking to see the yellow on that vacuum, they do look similar, but in real life that's a lot darker. Anyway, that is it's very detailed though, isn't it? It's all got all the bits. But unless I can manage to get hold of some more, I don't think I'll leave these sealed. Who knows? They might be worth some money one day. But if I assemble them, they won't be worth as much, I expect. So that just about concludes my little video. Well that just about concludes my video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of my vacuum cleaners and I uh, hope you look forward to all the videos that are coming up on iBasiac over the next few weeks and months. Well into next year there'll be lots and lots to look forward to on iBasiac. If you like this video please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video. Also, I have a Facebook page now called iBasiac. You can check down below, there is a link to that. Lots of exclusive content on there, some behind the scenes photos, the odd outtake video possibly, and lots of other vacuum cleaner news and information that you might find interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next time, I'll see you very soon.